Hi everyone, my name is Father Sam Kachuba and welcome to Faith Friday for the Diocese of Bridgeport. Came down to the basement because I want to get at the fundamentals, at the most essential things, at the foundation. We're in a time in our church these last couple of weeks especially where things are a little bit crazy and there's some chaos and even some confusion out there. So how do we deal with chaos and confusion in the midst of our, our lives and, and even in the midst of our church? Well this week we as a church celebrated three fantastic saints, St. Monica, St. Augustine, and St. John the Baptist. St. Monica teaches us what it means to pray and to pray without ceasing and to pray even in the midst of suffering and to do it with a great attitude of perseverance. Monica prayed for years and years and years for the conversion of her son Augustine. He was far from God and she prayed without ceasing that he would come to know Jesus Christ and embrace the Catholic faith. And so Monica is a great example for us of what we need to do first. All of our actions, all of our plans, everything that we do needs to always begin in prayer. And so if we're not praying first, we're doing it wrong. So I want to encourage you this week especially, as all kinds of stuff happens, let's make sure that we pray first. Let's begin in prayer. Monica taught us how to pray. Then St. Augustine. Augustine, living his wild and crazy life and desperately in need of conversion, finally came to believe. And when he came to believe, when he made his act of faith in Jesus Christ, he didn't stop there. He not only came to believe, but he spent the rest of his life trying to understand his faith, trying to understand more and asking questions. And that's why he's one of the greatest theologians of our entire church's history. And so for us, we need to be trying to understand. We need to seek that knowledge about our Catholic faith. And we need to grow in that knowledge. Augustine didn't only seek more knowledge, he also spent his life teaching and proclaiming the truth of the Catholic faith to everyone he met. And so we need to be good witnesses of the truth of our faith. So learn more about your faith. Learn more about what it means to be a Catholic and what our church teaches. And as you learn and understand more about our faith, you'll be in a much better position to also share that faith and teach others. Finally, John the Baptist. We celebrated this week the feast of his martyrdom. John gave his life not because he was baptizing people in the Jordan River, but because he had told King Herod that his marriage was unlawful. John stood for the truth. And John stood for a point of truth that was not something that the king wanted to hear. Sometimes when we proclaim the truth, there are people around us who won't want to hear it. What does Jesus tell us about the truth? The truth will set you free. Not only will the truth set us free, but he says, you will know the truth. You will know the truth and the truth will make you free. And so let us seek to know the truth and not only to know it, but to stand in it, to proclaim it. Let us work hard this week to know and understand the truth that is Jesus Christ. St. Monica, St. Augustine, St. John the Baptist give us fantastic examples. So I really encourage you, pray this week. Seek to know your faith more deeply. And stand for what is true. When we stand in the truth, when we pray, when we come in contact with the full content of what our faith teaches us, we know and understand Jesus Christ more profoundly. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the victor over sin and death, the sin and death that exists in my life and in yours, the sin and death that exists in our world. He will set us free. So let's never be afraid to pray, to learn, and to stand for what is true. God bless you.